Chapter 32, Analog Braking, Vehicle Stability, and Collision Avoidance Systems. Day 1, Video 10, Electronic Braking Systems. So looking at the schematical drawing here for an EBS, or Electronic Braking System, um, we're still having, it is still an air brake system, so we still have our compressor, air dryer, uh, air tanks, Okay, the air lines going between a modulator valve, the brake chambers, slack adjusters, you know, here we got some speed sensors and modulator valves. Uh, so we're still using air to operate the system or to create all the work that we need. It is only, the electronic part is only in the control circuit, all right? So the input that the uh, driver uh, gives into the system by pushing down on the brake pedal. We instead of sending air pressure through that modulator valve, uh, the uh, brake application valve, um, it is now a position sensor. Um, flips off of it, we're at a position zero, no braking action. Um, we're at position 100, all right, full braking effort. Uh, we allow full air pressure, uh, send a signal out to our modulator valve for full system air pressure. So we're just using this just the position of how far the driver's pushed down on the pedal uh, to determine how much air pressure he's asking for. So it's just really just a uh, position sensor. Uh, trailer spike control valve, we've got the park brake valve and the trailer supply valve. Those are just a uh, electronic switch. When we push in the yellow push-pull, it's saying release the park brakes on the tractor sends a signal out to our relay valve. It's then gonna add air pressure to release the spring brakes. Um, then it's, uh, you know, based on the inputs and outputs, it's uh, sending to the EBS um, ECU, which is also sending signals and receiving signals from the engine and transmission ECU. So in EBS, the pneumatic controls are eliminated. We're using electronic signals and then the uh, a uh, modular a uh, um, relay valve would have a um, position sensor on it. I'm sorry, not a position sensor, but a uh, um, electric motor located on that that would move the piston to allow air to pass through it. All right, so it's a brake by wire system. We're still producing compressed air is still the energy that, that operates the brakes. Uh, it's just electronically controlled.